Hello and welcome to today's lesson where we shall be treating the topic increasing and decreasing functions. In today's video, we shall cover the following. Definition of increasing functions. Definition of decreasing functions. Interval of increase and decrease. And finally, we shall end the class by looking at critical values and critical points. Definition. Increasing function. A function f of x is said to be increasing on an interval i if for any two numbers x1 and x2 in the interval i such that x1 is less than x2. We have that f of x1 is less than what f of x2. If this happens, then we we'll call the function f of x as an increasing function. Let's illustrate this graphically and see what it means. There are two points. The first point is x1 and the second point is x2 such that x1 is less than x2. And the functional value of x1 is f of x1 and the functional value of x2 is f of x2. Now from this setup, it is obvious that the value of f of x2 is greater than what the value of f of x1 even though x1 is less than x2 so for such a function we say that f of x the function y equal to f of x is an increasing function what else do we observe in an increasing function the graph of an increasing function goes upwards for example we want to show that the function f of x equal 3x squared, defined on the interval 0, 0,4, a closed interval, that this function is an increasing function. What do we do? We pick two points in this interval, say x1, we pick the point 1, and x2, we pick another point, say 3. Now the point 1 and 3 are in this interval. The points 1 and 3 are such that x1 is less than what? x2 because 1 is less than 3. The next thing we want to find out is the value of f of x1. Now f of x1 means f of 1 and f of 1 into the function means 3 into 1 squared and what is that 3? f of x2 means f of 3 and that gives us 3 into 3 all squared and that gives us what 3 squared is 9 that gives us 27. What do we observe? We observe that x1 is less than x2 and the functional value of x2, f of x2, is greater than what? f of x1. So the function given to us, f of x equal to 3x squared, defined on the interval 0, 4, is indeed what? An increasing function because it satisfies the condition on of our definition that f of x is increasing on an interval if we pick any two numbers on that interval such that the first number is less than the second number and we have that the functional value of the first number is less than f of x2 and of course f of x1 less than f of x2 simply means that f of x2 is greater than what f of x1 so here we can see write this as f of x1 is less than what f of x2 so that makes this function an increasing function. Let's look at also what a decreasing function is. Definition. Decreasing function. A function f of x is said to be decreasing on an interval i if for any two numbers x1 and x2 in the interval i such that x1 is less than x2. We have that f of x1 is greater than what? f of x2. Let's visualize this function graphically. So, we have two points. The first point is x1, and the value of x1 is f of x1 at this point, f of x1. And the second value is x2, and the value of x2 is f of x2, f of x2. Now, what do we see here? We see that from this setup, x1 is clearly less than x2. And the functional value of x1, f of x1, is greater than what? f of x2. So this setup now defines what we call 
a decreasing function. So the function y equal to f of x, which has this curve, is a decreasing function. What do we observe again here? We observe that the graph of a decreasing function falls from left to right. We'll take an example also to illustrate this very quickly. So we have f of x equal negative 2x squared plus 1. And this function is defined on the interval minus 2 and 2, a closed interval. We want to show that this function defined this way is a decreasing function. So what do we do? We pick two points in this graph, sorry, on the interval and check the condition that follows. So in this case, I pick x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 1. You can pick whatever numbers it is you wish as long as they lie on the interval. Clearly, for my choice of x1 and x2, x1 is less than what? x2. And that's the first condition here. That x1, in fact, the first condition is that x1 and x2 must come from the interval. And that's what I've done here. The second condition is that x1 must be less than what? x2. Or if x1 is less than x2, which is what I have here too. Now, what is f of x1? f of x1 simply means f of 0. If you plug in 0 here, what do we get? We get 1. And f of x2 equal to f of 1. And f of 1 here is what? Minus, minus 2, 1 squared plus 1. That gives us what? Negative 2 plus 1 equal to minus 1. So what do we observe? We observe that f of x1 is greater than what? f of x2. When x1 is less than what? x2. And from our, definition of, uh, from our definition, we have that if x1 is less than x2 and f of x1 is bigger than f of x2, then the function is called a decreasing function. So we have defined an increasing function as well as a decreasing function. Interval of increase and decrease. Some functions will increase on some interval and decrease at other intervals within one interval. Look at the function here, for example. This is the graph of some function y equal to f of x, defined on the interval a to b. Now, what do we observe in this function? We observe that from this point a to a point somewhere here, the function is an increasing function because it rises. And from this point to a point here, the function is a decreasing function. And from this other point, again to, this, to the last point, the function again is an increasing function. So we see that this function increases, decreases, and then increases again. Therefore, it is important to now ask ourselves a question. What is the interval of increase as well as what decrease of this function? Since it is clear that the function increases between, its, between this point A and this point, say A1. And it decreases between this point A1 again to this other point, say A2. And from the point A2 to the last point, the function again does what? Increases. Therefore, we must know how to find the interval of increase as well as what? The interval of decrease. We shall state the following theorem without proof. The theorem states that suppose a function f of x is differentiable on an open interval i. If f prime of x is greater than 0, what does this mean? This means that if the first derivative of the function is positive, which also means the slope. So if the slope of the function is positive on the interval i, then the function is said to be increasing on i. And if the slope of the function is negative on that interval, then the function f of x is said to be what decreasing on i now this theorem gives us another way of defining an increasing or decreasing function but this time it has to do with what the what derivative of the function what are we really saying here now we are saying that if for example on this interval let's say from a to b an open interval from a to b if a point here is chosen within the interval and the derivative of the function at this point say f of 
f prime of x at this point is evaluated that if this derivative which we call the slope is positive at this point then we can say that the function y equal to f of x once again is an increasing function also if on an open interval again let's say from a again to b we are able to pick up a point on that interval differentiate that point differentiate the function rather at that point and the value of the derivative we have is less than zero which means it's negative then we can conclude that the function f of x is what a decreasing function on this interval and of course if a function is decreasing at a particular point on the interval then it must decrease at all points on that interval critical values and critical points let us take a look at the graph of this function y equal to f of x again now we observe that this function between the point a to some point here the function is an increasing function and after this point the function is a decreasing function to a particular point again here and after this point the function again is an increasing function what does this really mean since the function is increasing between this point a to let's say point b here it means that the slope of the function at every point along this line f prime of x is what positive and after this point call it point b the slope of the function at every point along the function there f prime of x is less than what zero therefore for the curve for the slope to change from positive to negative it must pass through a particular point whose derivative is zero and if the function comes down this way here the slope is negative and after this point call it point c the the slope of a function at every point on this curve is again what positive therefore for the slope to change from negative to positive it must pass through a point again whose derivative is zero this point b and c are called critical points are called critical points another word for it is stationary what point stationary point so what are critical points these are points where the slope of a curve or of a graph changes from positive to negative or from negative to what to positive so this point b is called a critical point and the value x here where the critical point occurs is called a critical value so the, this is c again a critical point the value here x2 if you want where the critical point occurs is called again a critical what a critical value in our next video we shall take problems where we shall learn how to find this critical point as well as the critical values we shall also learn how to find the interval of increase and decrease of certain functions and we shall use that information to learn how to sketch the graph of these functions so if you have not already subscribed to this channel i suggest you do so now so that you don't miss any of our future updates thank you